Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a spooky set for y'all and I'm so excited. So let's get right into it. Right now all I'm doing is applying the tips so I make sure to measure them before actually applying them. And now to move on I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tips to her desired length and we will be doing a stiletto set. And I just wanted to tell everyone I already um, sanded down the nails to remove all the shines and oils before applying the tips. Now that the tips are cut to the desired length, I'm going to go ahead and take quite a bit more than I normally would when I do coffin off of the edges. Just so it's easier to, easier to file them down to be stiletto. I'm so excited for y'all to see these nails. They came out so good. Okay, so now all I'm going to be doing is filing the nails. And I like to file more at a straight sideways angle, if that makes any sense. Um, just because I like my stiletto to be really sharp. I don't like it being like curvy on the edges, if that makes any sense. But yeah. And I am using a 100-100 grit nail file. I'm pretty sure this one's from Sally's. But I usually get mine from a nail supply store down in Houston. Oh, and I just wanted to mention the giveaway winner was already announced. But I will also be having another nail set giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned and keep watching for that. So as you can tell while I'm filing I make sure to hold her skin down from the sides just to make sure that I don't file or cut her skin in any way. Moving on to filing I'm going to go ahead and prep and prime her nails to, for the acrylic and I'll be using the Valentino dehydrator and the nail bond primer. Okay guys, and I'm so sorry if y'all can hear the rain. It's raining so bad where I'm from, but here are the nails all shaped and primed. So now we're going to be applying acrylic, and I'm going to be applying um, the Crystal Clear Valentino Acrylic to all the nails. We are doing like a spooky set, and uh, all of the nails have like, um, the artwork is going to be done with gel. So I am using, for the most part, I've been using the 2-3 to three ball um, method for applying acrylic and that's one where the tip starts, a second one right above it and then the third one closer to the cuticle area. And I do apologize if I say anything wrong, like I don't know why but when I'm doing voiceovers I get kind of nervous and I might like butcher some stuff or say some things wrong so yeah and you just see me I apply it I slightly drag it down I don't use a lot of force because if you use too much force you're gonna take off all the acrylic you just applied and you want to make sure that your nails have a really nice curve to them that they're just not flat And for anyone that wonders, I do use the Oval Kalinsky brush from Alpha. Moving on, we're going to go straight to filing. And I will only be showing y'all me filing and uh, smoothing out two nails because I just feel like it's very repetitive and uh, the artwork of the nails is what I feel will interest y'all the most. So I just like filing at a straight angle um, with a little bit of curve to it.
I am using a fine drill bit to smooth out the nails and I like to go from up to down in the lower half of the nail and then from right to left in circular motions towards the cuticle just to clean anything up up there. And I also didn't want to fast forward things too much just so y'all get a feel for how it is when I actually do nails. And here are the nails um, shaped and smoothed out. I'm just showing y'all the decals that I'm using. I'm so excited for this part. I can't wait for y'all to see the nails. Well, y'all probably already saw them from the picture. But I'm just going to be applying a white to the pinky. And we're going to be doing a white and black stripes. And I only apply one layer of white because it's really thick. And this is a gel polish from DND. Moving on to the ring finger, um, it's going to be a clear nail with a blood splatter. Oh my god. See, even the weather's spooky. But, um, so I'm just taking like um, dots of polish on the nail and using my nail art brush just to give it more of a splattery, blood blue feel. Now, I believe the middle finger and the thumb, that, those are the fingers that we're going to be using decals on. So I just like to go ahead and prep with a white base just to make sure that the decals um, show really well on those nails. Okay guys, and the index finger is going to be a bright red with like a blood drip on the top and that's going to be the darker red that we use for the blood splatter. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one layer, have her put it in the um, machine for 60 seconds and then I'm going to redo the red. And like I said, for the thumb, we're going to be applying a decal, so it's going to be all white. After her hand comes out of the LED light for 60 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and put another layer of red on the index finger. And right here, I'm just showing y'all uh, me drawing the black lines on the pinky. They're not going to be like straight lines. We were going for more of a messier look. So now that we got the shade of red that she liked, we're going to go ahead and start the, bla the blood um, drip on the index finger. And what I like to do, I like to add like the dots first and then I just drag the color up and uh, fill up the area closest to the cuticle. And now we're going to move to the decals which is my most favorite part. And to start off I'm going to apply a thin layer of gel to the white nails and it's going to be really thin just so that the decals adhere good to it. I like to let them soak in water for a good 15 seconds. After I pull it out, I'm just carefully going to be placing it on the nail. And I know that a lot of people struggle with using these so I'm going to try to be as informative. So the base is going to be a little bit wet due to the um, top coat but yeah just place a decal. <laughs> and then move the decal around and be careful not to overstretch it because they will rip. And I know y'all see like the white, but I will be going back and uh, applying polish to the edges of the decals. And to finish off the nails, I will be taking my Valentino top coat and applying it to all the nails. So for the decals, just make sure that you soak it for at least 10 to 15 seconds. I just use normal water because I'm not going to wait for the water to warm up a bit. And the decals should slide right off of the little paper. So just cut them to your desired length or shape. Place them in water 
take them out and apply them on a tacky nail base. And make sure that after um, placing them that you let them dry in the UV light before applying the final top coat. Okay guys, and these are the final nails. Thank you guys so much for watching. So I will be doing a giveaway for a spooky set and the giveaway will end this upcoming Friday. I'll have everything down below, but all you have to do to enter is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and then leave a comment down below. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and good luck to whoever wins a spooky set.